I am a child activist. I work on different issues um, surrounding child rights in Malaysia mostly, although many of the issues that I work on um, are global issues, whether it's you know, anti-trafficking or uh, refugees or statelessness and protection, citizenship or adoption. I will tell you in Malaysia that what it means, as it, as it is around the world as well, it's basically um, someone um, with no um, proper documentation and identity that's recognized by the state or by the government or by a country. I think as a person in Malaysia, uh, what statelessness means is, um, it's outrageous. It's outrageous that anybody would not give children, especially, or their families because they grow up, um, a citizenship, that they, they don't belong in somewhere, uh, that they don't belong anywhere. Statelessness as a mother, because I've adopted children, um, forget the child activist, you know, is basically being afraid every time she has bad asthma, let's say my daughter, and, you know, knowing, praying, um, that it's not bad enough where she just goes to a hospital because there's no insurance. Uh, it's, you know, working three jobs and trying to pull everything together because you're afraid when she turns 18 and, you know, I'm an older mother, um, she's going to have no one who's going to fight on her behalf. It means a lot to my, if you ask my eight-year-old daughter, she's not going to tell you what I said. She'll say, I don't have a passport and I cannot go to Disneyland. If you ask someone else, they'll say, I can't go to school. That you cannot go to government sc local schools. Um, you're considered a foreigner or you don't exist. Um, you cannot get married. You cannot have an identity. Uh, you cannot have a passport. You cannot leave the country. Um, I think in particular, and I do have an affinity and a certain zest for looking at cases on stateless children is because they really have not zero support. Sometimes I think it feels so frustrating and so insurmountable, the odds against these children. And there's so many of them um, that, you know, you catch yourself like just praying and breathing sometimes before you go on to the next case. But I think the part that kills me and just breaks my heart is when the children themselves ask. Um, why they can't go to school, or, you know, why can't they have papers, or why can't they study universities, or, yeah, so, what do you say? Government doesn't like you, you can say Rukun Nagara, and you can, and you can sing the Garaku, but the country doesn't love you, so, yeah. Um, hi, I'm Tini Zainuddin, I'm a child activist in Malaysia. Um, I'm all for children. Um, come catch me and come listen to me talk whoa, um, at, um, with incitement on, on December 16th, 2016. Please come, please come, please come. <laughs>